Camping friends, it's Sharon Armstrong. Let's make this cute little card today. This cute little bear is, he's just so much fun. I wanted to share with you, if you punch out the bear, there's not a punch for the ears. So keep that in mind when you are making your cards using the cookie cutter Christmas. So I have my piece of Whisper White paper and I really want to ink up this guy really well and make sure you have a paper piercing mat underneath. He is so solid that sometimes you might not get a good image if you don't. Hold that stamp on that paper. When I first got him, he didn't ink up well. It didn't matter what I did. I was getting blotchy little bare bits. So, um, Take your stamp and scrub and clean that stamp, that photopolymer stamp, when you first get it, if you have the same problem. All right, so I've cut out my little gingerbread house. This is from the um, Candy Cane Christmas. I added some Dazzling Diamonds glitter where the snow is. I've put dimensionals on the back. I'm going to put that right there. And before I go any further, I always do this on the videos, I don't know why. Um, I'm going to add my layer. I think I like that side this time. So, onto my real red. Oops. Layer that on my crumb cake base. best if you add all your layers first. That way you get good adhesive when you are putting it together. Okay. So now all I have left is my banner and I have some real red and whisper white. And I'm going to stamp. Have yourself a very little Merry Christmas. Set that aside. And even after I told you about the ears, I forgot his ears. Good news, the photopolymer, you can see right through it, so that helps. Okay, so I'm going to just cut a banner tail with my snips. And do the same thing with my real red, going up the middle, coming in from each side. And this is just barely a border, okay? Make sure your ink is dry. I thought it was. I stamped it so long ago. All right. So, put some snail on the back. Like I said, I want a really close layer. Trim off the back. Dimensionals. Hmm, picked up two. Oh well. Now, I promise I will fix this banner before I give this card away. I'm really excited that I've been doing Christmas cards for so long because by the time December gets here, I will be done with all of my card making. Okay. All right, so I need to do his little face. And 
There are several little images here, and this is his little face. Let me grab my block. And I'm going to do that in black. And I prefer the memento black with my photopolymer stamps. There we go. The last thing he needs is a cute little glitzy bow tie. I have a piece of my glimmer paper scraps and I'm just going to take and put this in on the bow punch on the on the punch where the bow is. Punch that out. And then I just want a little bit of dimensional. I love the paper piercer. It helps you pick things up and place them right where you want them. There you go. So, I hope you enjoyed this series, and I will see you on the next video.